Hi, I'm Tom Myers, and here's another tip that uh, applies to fascial training. If you're trying to lengthen fascia, it lengthens slowly. So putting a slow, sustained stretch, such as you would find in a yoga class, but you can create that also on the training floor, a slow, sustained stretch will allow the fascia, like a plastic carrier bag, a plastic shopping bag, to open up the fascia within without damaging it. If you take the fascia too fast, that's when it tears. Fascial tearing is the, by far the most common kind of injury that we have, whether it's a ligament or a tendon, but it's that kind of tearing or strain in the fascia that is the most common injury, and because the fascia isn't so well vasculated, it has a hard time getting the blood supply in there for a repair. So if you want to stretch the fascia, you have to think about yoga or tai chi speeds, not athletic speeds. If you want to build bounce into the body, go at athletic speeds. If you want to build length into the body, go at slower speeds.